What's happening everyone? I'm Teddy. And I'm Ellie. So are you sick of being stuck at home, unable to travel outside of your house? Good news! You can now do that all in the comfort of your own home. Mm-hmm. So you can take a flight to travel out and explore the sights and sounds of these open world games that we are about to recommend to you to play. In this list, we're going to choose games that don't follow a main quest progression storyline. You're not forced to defeat that giant evil dragon waiting for you at the end of the game. You can progress out to perhaps do your own side quests or play some mini games that are scattered throughout the entire world. An open world makes so much sense if you are Spider-Man. Insomniac Games built a richly detailed version of Manhattan that is an absolute joy to explore. Simply getting around in this game is endlessly fun even if you have exhausted all the list of things to do. The game makes you feel like Spider-Man as you catch yourself stopping mid-swing to get the drop onto a crime that is currently happening. You can infiltrate bases and web up all your enemies it's even satisfying to web zip across the New York City rooftops just because you can. And that's why I can't wait to see how Spider-Man will look like on the PlayStation 5 when we finally get to play as Miles Morales. As an anime fan, I can't wait for Genshin Impact. This game provides a very calm, relaxing, and enjoyable experience as you adventure and unlock character skills and elemental combos. Exploring every part of the map rewards you with chests. It's incredibly satisfying to get these chests after a quick fight or a puzzle. You can spend so many hours just exploring and appreciating the scenery, the magic, and the ambience, all while hoarding items. What's an open world game list without GTA? This game has provided hours and hours of entertainment for so much people. You will never run out of things to do. From practicing yoga to escaping a high-speed police chase. You can just play comfy while exploring or be a criminal or a vigilante. There's an endless list of NPCs and items to interact with. The GTA world is your oyster. I personally love getting into cars and just trying my best not to hit anyone. Spoiler, I always do. Sleeping Dogs is a masterpiece in storytelling. Not only does it tell an amazing story with Wei Shen, it creates an immersive Hong Kong for you to explore. It feels like you really are in Hong Kong, a bustling and busy city. You can interact with food stalls, clothing stalls, and even home renovation stores as you accomplish all your main missions. You can even do drug busts, where you can arrest people through a CCTV. You can even do favors, arcade gameplay, and car races. The gameplay itself is fantastic with a polished melee and gunfight system that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Masterful storytelling, polished gameplay, and an immersive open world, count me in. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is set in ancient Greece. You have the choice of playing as Cassandra or Alexios, the Mystios or the mercenary, ready to sell his or her sword to either Athens or Sparta. Odyssey really throws you into Greece and lets you experience it as though you were really living there. Buildings and environment details makes you feel like you're living and breathing the air in ancient Greece. What's more, you get to feel the dangers there as well with the animals and mercenaries that will both hunt you down and kill you. Plus, for the first time in an Assassin's Creed game, you have dialogue options to choose from so you can finally decide whether your Mysthios is a massive pain in the butt or just wants to be everyone's friend. Definitely an open world game to get lost in for a good fulfilling 100 plus hours. I certainly can't wait for Assassin's Creed Valhalla where I can be a Viking invading Britain. One of my most favorite games in the world is Yakuza 0. This game makes me feel that I'm actually in Japan way back then. 
I'm hesitant to mention the amount of time I spent visiting arcades to get plushies, karaoke, and managing my own host club. It's a very cool mini game. It certainly brightens the atmosphere since the main storyline can get really sad at times. This game has also given me the most enjoyable and interesting side quest that I've ever had. Throwing bikes and big projectiles on gang members on the street will never not be satisfying. Kiryu chan! Where there really isn't anywhere to fly to these days, open world games are your first class ticket to explore a new land of magic, fantasy, and adventure. It's where you can create new memories all from the comfort of your own home. And there will be plenty more open world games coming to you, especially with the launch of the PlayStation 5. We can't wait to get our hands on a new Spider-Man and Horizon Zero Dawn. What are some of your favorite open world games? Leave them down in the comment section below. Till next time, I'm Teddy. And I'm Ellie. We'll see you next time to play, play everything. everything. And if you like this video, please make sure to share it, leave a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button. See you next time!